Take him for a ride. Wolf himself. Right. Let's dance. Slow now. Let's not do anything rash. Keep calm. Start no props. Notion of order is this. Why doesn't someone do something? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Horn! Ooh, fear, and then whack, thud, as if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the her uh, tourney. Agreed. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be. It doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers. Tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Trampled grass and <laughs> bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. Damn it. More fighting. Noise is coming from the catacombs, it seems. is coming from here. Not 
without a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Louis de Quarantin died on the day of St. Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Hmm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some. Dwarf! Disgusting! Ha! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some 500 times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now... You would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! 
They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, for you shall have none left for me. Heretic, shut your mouth. I shall... I shall speak to no one as long as she is in here. Take her away. My apologies, but I'm simply not in the mood. I see you fell for that pious tart dribble. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah. <sighs> Once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Do 
deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. Chamber. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. This is it. You'll not find work here. Not paid work. Gents also looking for that Gwent club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're a plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask... What you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. No. Why? 
Eyes down. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart polecats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. Bathing tears away at the skin, and thus makes death close. Yeah, drink food. <laughs> what's they know? I imagine you think that one of the ghosts. Voices. Reginald Aubrey has returned, not to be missed. Buy your tickets now, available from me alone. I thank you for your help. Leputa Reginald Aubrey has returned, not to be missed. Nice tune. Rolling on an empty stomach. Oh, that tree on the sign must be the house. Need to go around. Laces, my cosmetic. Oh, lovely trifles. Medallions humming. Something's not quite right. Just rather handful. Mm, not here. Under the rose bush, 
night. Ah, just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. That's it, Roach. Bees got their nest here.
belief in a horse drops if you ride it with a constant gallop. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed, and I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. at one time. 